loser. Oh no, I know who knocked Colm knocked him into losers. Colm, the Lucas player who we saw a little bit earlier. It was a really solid match between them. Ended up going to game three last stock. Yeah, Yoshi's is not a place you want to go take Donkey Kong. Pokemon Stadium is a really good Donkey Kong stage. Gets a lot of space to run around. Bait in the, with those dash tags. DMX coming in with a quick forward air. Tries to go for a grab there, unable to get it. Meta Knight loves grabbing early, can get some quick tech chases off. And we got some up tilts. Up air to Nair, really solid. All those Meta Knight combos are just like the tiniest of hits that just chain into each other. Ooh, trades with forward air. I don't even know what. Both of these players are keeping the game really close, and pretty much going punch for punch. DMX tries to punish the up B with his down air angles, but did not seem to work out. Comes in with a dash attack, tried to follow up the nair, did not work. Hint Dog trying to approach with his short hop nairs, but I don't know if that's the best idea against Meta Knight. Gets the grab back air. DMX was not expecting that at all. No DI. Ooh, hit him with the down air, but unable to follow up with the jab grab, probably. Ooh, nicely spaced back over right there, and that down smash will take care of the dog's first stock. Ooh, nice edge cancel, but it didn't look like he was expecting it because he ended up uh, just air dodging afterward. Looked like it was like the L cancel that he was like expecting to come out. Ooh, grab combo too. See, he got that footstool. He was using that on me earlier today. It's so annoying. Love doing that footstool down here. Right, what's up, guys? It's Hylian. Hylian joined me on the mic. You get to wait a while, so. I'm playing Dart next. Dark Emma? No, Dart. Oh, Dart. Okay. I didn't know if he was playing Piano. It's nice to see him. Yeah. He won the last game. Really? Yep, the last test rounds, which had like 15 minutes. Really solid back here by Hindog right there, sealing up that stock. Right, this is game one? This is game one. Awesome. DMX respecting Hindog on the ledge, which waiting for him to make like a bad approach getting off of it so he can punish. Doesn't want to play any of those Donkey Kong games on the edge. DMX is from the same area as Strong Bad, so yeah, it's it was... bound to have some some uh, Donkey Kong experience. Yep, it was uh, DMX, Strong Bad, uh, Shion, and T Mac. Oh, not T Mac. No, uh, T Rex. T Rex. Those are all the from Yeah. Uh, those are all the KC players who came down today. Or came surprised at the. The back throw choice instead of a down throw, which would have had guaranteed follow-ups. He's going for that mix-up for, I guess, better combos. We got up here, up here, up B. Unfortunately, he's like not even close to being high enough to close to that. Yeah. But still solid percentage. The downward angle down air, or forward angle down air. Goes for it again. Ooh, eats that forward air, but unfortunately, he was in the air. DMX really has to start respecting uh, Hindog when he's recovering. Yeah. Uh, DK has invincibility on his up for like 30 frames or something. Yeah, the, and the first hit of it, is, yeah. it ends up being really, really strong. So if you're going out for edge guards and like you get hit by that first hit of that up you, you can usually end up being stage spike instead of yeah. like going for edge Also, if you get hit by the whole thing, it's like 40 damage. Yeah, it, it, it just combos into itself like so many times. We got oh, some up there, wow. up airs, up tilts. Hindog you know, doing a great job oh. juggling. Uh, Hindog you know, juggling DMX and DMX died there because he tried to jump, jump down there and just down there. Didn't air. have his jump, yeah. <laughs> Am I going Lucario versus Marth? I don't know, man. Like Dart has a lot of Link experience, so I sh probably should go Lucario, but that's a really hard matchup for Lucario. I so think, it's I like think a, Link has a good matchup against yeah, Marth. So yeah, so I. They're being pretty similar characters in terms of play style, except Link has that projectile, so it just like changes everything. Yeah. So those projectiles. Alright, so Green Hill Zone. Didn't want to give uh, Hindog much space, but I think this is a pretty good down stage too, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know about this counter pick. I would have gone for something more uh, horizontally bound, like FD or. They had Pokemon similar. Stadium last, yeah. last match. Really good in terms of. Uh, Stage, stage space. 
Although this platform, the platform can mess up DK's throw combos. Yeah, platforms in general can, especially like when they're not stationary. Yeah. Ooh, tries to connect that forward air, but ends up taking a nair to the face. Ends up dropping off so he can get the ledge. Really, really safe recovery. And uh, he could have recovered no. with a down beam instead of an up beam. Yeah, true. That it's very, it's not intuitive, but... You can move it around with the C-stick as it's going, and even end it early with uh, A, I think. If you move around in the C stick, it insta slashes. Yeah. Ooh, we almost had Nair to Donkey Punch, would have been all the hype. DMX closed that stock out with a nice neutral that came yeah. in the game close. Caught, uh, caught him dog by surprise, it's pretty poor DI. I like the up tilt, but I don't like the second up tilt. Should've gone for a grab. DK uh, falls pretty fast. It's hard to keep him in the air like that at 1%. Yeah. Nice to space down to the hit dog there. Not able to get anything off the of him. I don't know what he was doing for the down there. I don't know, maybe reading a, a roll or something. But he usually uses a tech chase, not like as a means to uh, approach uh, or in the neutral game, really. Who almost connects that forward air, but DMX just being Meta Knight so much faster. Great back air. Look for a neutral air here. Oh, that had to be input air. There's yeah. no way he meant to just get up like that. Or he didn't notice he was above 100%. One of those. Yep. Yeah, see, so you just want, you need to respect Donkey Kong to the edge. Like that, that ledge hop nair is so good. That nair having intangibility on the arms, what like goes on. You can only hit Donkey Kong from like above or like on his body. It's actually not even intangibility, it's invincibility. Invincibility, invincibility on his nair, yes. So, like, you, and the difference between invincibility and intangibility is invincibility you can connect with, but like you will not, like, you'll you can always crank something trade. that's yeah. invincible as well. Like, when it, something intangible cannot be touched. Like, Luka that's like Lucario's down beat, correct? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's also invincible. Meta Knight's aerials, Meta Knight's moves are intangible. Oh, okay. Yeah, they like cannot clink projectiles that get through them. Oh, okay. So after that suicide by Hindog, looks like he just ties the game right back up. Down throw? Down throw chain grabs. I like, he started respecting Hindog's recovery. Yeah, you, you need to like, let him get back up. off the edge. Oh, barely misses that doggy punch. Meta Knight benefiting oh, from this short cross up. Hindog trying to go with the dash back, but uh... Hindog recognizes the forward tilts. You saw Hindog wind, Hindog wind up that Donkey Punch when he was approaching there. I, th I think he thought he had it already because it doesn't make sense to like, just come in with like a wind up. Yeah. And that Nair does it. It was That's a really, it. really nice set. Yeah. One thing I think Run Team.